So the following hike is to Scotia's grave. And Scotia is purely a legendary figure. Uh, she cannot be found anywhere in Egyptian history. But according to Irish legends, Scotia was the daughter of a monotheistic pharaoh who was killed for his beliefs because Egypt was primarily polytheistic at the time. So her dad was killed for believing in one god and Scotia, having similar beliefs, fled Egypt along with her husband and established a kingdom in Scotland, which is why it's called Scotland, land of Scotia. But I guess the couple got tired of living in Scotland or they were looking for some adventure and they decided to invade Ireland. The, and they invaded the region that I was actually staying at, uh, the Slievenish Mountains. And during the battle, um, during one of the battles, I should say, Scotia jumped over a river on her horse and fell off her horse, hit her head, and died. And so this glen um, supposedly contains Scotia's grave, as well as the grave of either Scotia's horse or one of her ladies-in-waiting. So... Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy. So I've just started my next research hike to Scotia's grave, and I'm whispering because it's kind of creepy here. I passed some abandoned houses, and I'm on this trail, and there's no one around, and it's a little bit stormy out. Um, so we'll see if I can and find uh, Scotia's grave. That's where I just came from, and that's where I'm going. way now. It is really pretty up here though. Hoping that blue sky comes my way. I'm going in the right direction. That way doesn't look like much of a trail, but we're gonna see where it leads. This here almost looks like it could be something. It's like a raised mound. should be directly in there, but we'll see. I'm headed in. This place is so mystical and creepy. As soon as I entered, the wind picked up. It's just too dense now, I, I can't get through. I might turn around come and try the other direction. It is very mossy here. Here's the river. It's said that Scotia attempted to jump this river on her horse and she fell off and that was the cause of her death.
I wonder if this cluster of rocks is it. Someone's left a rosary in the center rock. So even if this isn't a grave, it must have some sort of significance. I just come across another cluster of stones over here. There are the stones from the other side of the river. That's definitely got to be the grave. I don't think it can be anything else in this area. So that was very cool. A little creepy, a little wet, but very cool. I'm on the other side of the river now. I was so relieved to find a bridge. Um, and I think I see civilization up there. Something's moving over there. So hopefully that's a road and I'm gonna try to take that back to Tralee. We'll see what happens. That looks developed, doesn't it? Jeez, I'm just surrounded by rivers, creeks, whatever. <laughs> I've got to cross this somehow. I think this is my best shot of crossing right here. Okay, on the other side, it is seriously beautiful here. I mean, if that is her grave, what a beautiful place to be buried. These trees are so fuzzy. And now that I've emerged out of the glen, the sun has come out. <laughs> I mean, I guess this is the way to go, but it looks like someone's property. That's where I was. I'm gonna see if I can hit the road if I follow this um, stone wall here. So that's where I just came from. I might have trespassed a little bit. Oops, hope not. Tried my best not to, but here's the road. And I'm on my way back to civilization. And I've really gotta use the bathroom. <laughs> so that was definitely my creepiest hike, um, especially with the rain and the wind picking up as soon as I entered the glen and the sun coming out as soon as I exited. Um, but, I guess it all added to the ambiance of visiting a grave. Um, and I'll tell the story of Scotia, the Egyptian princess who relocated to Scotland and Ireland um, and what caused her death once I get back uh, to my Airbnb. But that was quite an adventure. It was the first hike that I went on where I didn't see a single other person. Um, I mean, these places are relatively remote, but there's always been at least one person that I've encountered. And I only saw one sheep while I was on this hike. That was the only other living thing besides the birds that I saw. So um, it was quite an experience. Oh my gosh. So I did the loop around, so I'm coming off the other side of the river. So there's no way I would have seen this sign, but <laughs> Here's a sign, and there's the trail. I probably could have just followed this. <sighs> I'm gonna follow it for kicks just to make sure I actually did find the grave. Well, this is very clearly a trail. The trees are very bendy. Wow, this is so different than the experience that I just had. There's a fork in the river. That explains why I was surrounded by rivers. it led me right back to the same spot there right there is the grave so good to know that I found the place without a trail um, a proper trail at least um, and it was cool to see 
the very clean, well-kept trail, too. So I'll head back up and uh, follow the road into Trilly now. It's so nice, this little trail follows the river all the way. the end of the road leading to Scotia's grave and come across this sign with hieroglyphics on it and I really should have looked closer at Scotia's grave because I heard that there are very faint hieroglyphics on it um, so that's a regret of mine but when I come back that'll be a priority.